Hey, good morning. Welcome back. I'm so glad you've joined me this morning. We're over here in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, and today verses 21 through 25. Let's read straight on. And the people waited for Zacharias and marveled that he lingered so long in the temple. But when he came out, he could not speak to them, and they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned to them and remained speechless. So it was, as soon as the days of his service were completed, that he departed to his own house. Now after those days his wife Elizabeth conceived, and she hid herself five months, saying, Thus the Lord has dealt with me in the days when he looked on me to take away my reproach among the people. So the fact is that, of course, in this time, uh, for a woman not to bear children was looked on as, uh, you know, kind of, you know, really, really need to be sorry for that person. Boy, today in our culture, uh, being a parent, uh, people would rather have a dog or a cat than a, than a child. That's crazy. That's just plain crazy. Uh, being a parent is a great privilege. And so, uh, well, anyway, Zacharias comes out. He's mute. The word goes out. It looks like he's had a vision. We're all kind of surprised and interested. And so people are thinking and talking and wondering what has happened. And then we see that, uh, of course, just as God said through his angel servant, Gabriel, uh, Elizabeth does conceive after he finishes his service in the temple. And so they must have got together, you know, and she is pregnant here. And so she's pretty excited. She's always wanted a baby. God will do powerful things through us. And even when we feel like the time has passed, it may be that God has certain blessings for us even today. Let's, let's pause and pray together. Dear Father in heaven, help us to trust in you. Sometimes the prayers, uh, apparently, it's better in your timing for them, for them to be fulfilled, sometimes decades away at a different time in a different situation. So Lord, uh, thank you for blessing Zacharias and Elizabeth. Thank you that... You used Zacharias as a sign, and uh, may we be ourselves sort of in our own way, signs in this world, signs of the kingdom, realize the kingdom here that we are servants of the Most High God and we trust in you. And we are not burdened by all the snares and all the, all the uh, fears of others. Bless us and be our guide, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So God is ready to to do powerful things through our lives, are we available to him? Or are we like sort of on vacation somehow? 